We are here today to celebrate the rededication of our School of Sacred Music in the memory of Debbie Friedman, our teacher, friend, and inspiration. How appropriate that this tzedeket be remembered and honored by means of this sacred institution. I can personally say that Debbie is one of the main reasons I am here. My active Jewish journey began with song leading. I fell in love with her music and teachings, and they led me deeper and deeper into this world of Torah and Nishama. We received far more from Debbie than her words and music alone. We experienced her soul. Whether you'd met her once before or had been fortunate enough to know her for years, she would always remember you, and not just your face, but what had been going on for you at that time. She somehow managed to be fully present in moments of sadness or moments of laughter. You always felt her genuine presence. I walked into Debbie's music as Midrash class as a star-struck third-year cantorial student. Debbie was a big deal. I was nervous to meet her. She was sitting at the table, surrounded by music books and CDs, her gifts to us. You work hard, she told us. You do enough. I never want you to pay for my music. As I came to discover, this was characteristically Debbie, generous and thoughtful. Throughout that semester, we would arrive each week tired and frazzled from the daily demands of our lives and leave feeling inspired and loved. Each of us felt valued, seen, and appreciated in her eyes. Solomon Rushdie describes loss as the feeling of a person-shaped hole in the world. In Debbie's absence, the Debbie-shaped hole in the world is palpable and we are still feeling the pain of that loss. But each time we join our voices together on one of Debbie's beautiful melodies, we can almost feel her smiling. In my time with Debbie, she reminded me regularly of the simple but profound joy of making music together, a joy that lies at the heart of so many of our Jewish journeys.
Our task this morning is twofold. It is to honor the memory of our teacher and friend, colleague and loved one, Debbie Friedman, and to celebrate her legacy. And it is to dedicate our Debbie Friedman School of Sacred Music and to celebrate our school's legacy and future. Since our founding, our entire faculty, together today with our students, alumni, and board, have made the preservation of synagogue musical traditions from around the world and the composition of new music core to our mission, creating Clay Kodesh, religious leaders in Israel. Today we celebrate our teacher Debbie Friedman's life and work, and we honor her memory by recommitting ourselves to that mission. And so she was our Debbie, yours, mine, most of all Frida's, Aunt Anne's, Cheryl's, and her sister Barbara, known by her loves, known by her talent, known by her love of Torah. She found a second home, not only in Wisconsin, but then in California at Camp Swig, now Camp Newman, and then everywhere. Her heart was large, her love shared with those few over the years who she found of like passion for life. But she never thought that she was the star that everyone told her she was. Everyone said, you're a star. She said, no, I'm not. How could Debbie not know that she had changed the Jewish world and beyond? And so her name is now forever connected to a place that raises up disciples who will keep it for her memory and for theirs and for all of ours. She would only want us to remember that those who sow in tears will reap in joy. Let us always turn our mourning into dancing. To each person there is a name. And now, the Debbie Friedman School of Sacred Music. Those who sow in tears will reap in joy. Debbie immortalized these words in her beautiful song. They capture this moment well. Debbie had the ability to create powerful, close bonds with so many. I will never forget when she first came to our kala, the retreat at the end of August that begins the school year. After taking a red eye from Houston, she taught all day. That evening, even a healthier person might understandably have grown weary. But Debbie got up to lead her Psalm 150. Within five seconds, she had galvanized the entire student body and faculty. Through her generous spirit and gift of song, she was able, in a manner of moments, to unite a disparate group into a single family of shared love. I personally feel the loss of her great soul. And I pray that our students bring some measure of this gift to congregations that they will serve. of worship is Hito Rarut HaNefesh. How is it that we elevate and inform and inspire the soul? Who more than Debbie Friedman elevated, inspired, and led our souls? How can one attend a service as we did this morning? 
and think of people who were ill at weddings, at births. What liturgical ceremony does not take place in our world where the music and the inspiration of Debbie Friedman is not present on this occasion as we dedicate this school in the memory of your sister, of your niece, of your daughter, and of our friend, I would recite those words to God in thanksgiving for what it was that Debbie did for us. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Hamazakeh Otanu B'mitzvot, Vagam B'shira. I would thank God who has granted us merit by allowing us through the elevation of the soul in which this school of sacred music participates and its alumni has granted us the merit of performing mitzvot of commandments of good deeds and the merit of being able to sing to God and to our souls at the most holy and awesome occasions. And to my friend Debbie, I would simply say, Modeani, I thank you. Hamazaka, Otano Bishira. I thank our friend Debbie, who continues to grant us merit, zahut, privilege, and blessing through her songs. This plaque will stand at the entrance to the synagogue. I think in words that I believe were written before Debbie, but she gave them her own spin. The Debbie Friedman School of Sacred Music, The Old Shall Dream Dreams, and The Youth Shall See Visions. And I'm going to ask Rabbi Idelson to read the rest. <laughs> and our hopes shall rise up to the sky. We must live for today. We must build for tomorrow. Give us time. Give us strength. Give us life. Amen. I want to thank each one of you because I know her acquaintance with you and her attachments to you that she got something from each one of you that made her the person that she is. She was so uh, truly friendly and knew so many people and everyone loved her but she loved everyone also. <laughs>
Yeah.